welcome and hello here we are for another day of math homework so this is chapter four lesson two day three equivalent ratios and like always if you need some more practice at the end of this activity you can go check out these questions on page 197 198 so here we go for every five gallons of dye concentrate this dye concentrate 12 gallons of water are added to make a dye solution so it seems like we have two parts and then we have the whole so our ratio for letter a find the ratio of the number of gallons of dye concentrate to the number of gallons of water so if we're doing that that means our ratio is 5 to 12 which is pretty awesome and if you think about it like here is the solution, we know we have five parts concentrate to 12 parts water. So this is our concentrate, this is our water, and then that constitutes one piece there. Awesome. So for question B, we are going to be, we are wondering how many gallons of dye concentrate are used to make 68 gallons of dye solution. Dye solution. So this one, it looks like we are going to be dealing with a part to whole relationship, where up here, this is a part to part relationship. Now that's an important distinction to make because in this one uh, like mixture of the dye solution, that whole thing contains 17 gallons. And so, when we are looking at question B, our ratio of gallons of dye concentrate, 5, to the gallons of dye solution, if we are looking back up here in part A, it's a 5 to 17 ratio, where we have 5 gallons of dye concentrate in order in the total of 17 gallons. And if you keep in mind, the other uh, portion of that solution is the water. So now, if we're looking at 5 to 17 ratio, we don't know how much dye concentrate there is, but we do know that we need to end up with 68 gallons of total solution. So we know this green part, but we are trying to figure out how much, if this ratio stays the same, because we want our pigment to be the same color, how much is that going to be? So I know that 17, if we doubled that, would be 34. And that's two groups. And if we doubled 34, I know that's 68. So that would be four times. So if we multiply that by four, we would get the correct amount of dye solution. And that means we would need to multiply our amount of dye concentrate by four as well, which would be 20 gallons. So 20 gallons are used to make 68 gallons of solution. So, how many gallons of dye concentrate, dye concentrate are used when 60 gallons of water are added to make the dye solution? So this is a part-to-part -part ratio, and we know our original ratio was 5 to 12. Yep, from up there at the top. So 5 parts dye to 12 parts water. And now the question is asking if we have 60 gallons of water. So I know that 12 times 5 is 60, so we are going to need 5 times as much of the concentrate. So 5 times 5 is 25. So 25 gallons of concentrate are used. Con are used. Awesome. And that seems to be reasonable. And if I'm thinking about my numbers here, in our beginning up here there was more water than there was concentrate and as we go through all the different parts that ratio stays that that relationship stays the same where here we still have more water than we do concentrate so that is a good deal now diego records the amount of orange syrup and water he uses to make four mixtures of orange drink so again we have orange we have this very minor distinction here. We have orange syrup, we have water, and then we have orange drink. So that's like kind of the total. So identifying this as a part 
that is a part and this is our whole and he uses an identical ratio which makes sense because we want the flavor of this orange drink to be the same no matter how many portions we make so for letter a we just need to fill in those blanks our ratio of orange drink to water hmm I feel like that should probably say orange syrup to water. I feel like that would make more sense. S-Y-R-U-P. That one. Oof, that's going to be frustrating. So I'm going to have to change that one. But that seems to be more in line with what we've got here, where the amount of orange syrup to water is 3 to 7, and that is in simplest form. So knowing that we need to have the same amount, we know that our syrup this is orange syrup, orange syrup, syrup. So these are all of our syrup amounts. These are all of our water amounts. And seems pretty good there. All right, so we know that we have a three to seven ratio of syrup to water. So this is going to be our syrup side. This is going to be our water side. And in solution B, mixture B, we know we have 14 cups of water. So that means we have doubled our batch. So when we double this, we would get six. So we have six cups of orange syrup. Our ratio is six to 14, and that can be simplified to three to seven. So now when I'm looking at part C, since this is our ratio of orange syrup to water, that means we have 12 cups of syrup, 28 cups of water, and I know 12 to 28, these can both be divided by four, and we'd be left with three to seven. Awesome. So now we're on to part D, where if we have a three to seven ratio of syrup to water. This problem is telling us that we have 30 cups of syrup, which is 10 times greater. That must mean we need 10 times as much water. So our ratio is 30 to 70. And we know from here already that this is a 3 to 7 ratio. Awesome. So even though the quantities are different in each of these batches, the ratio of syrup to water is the same.